overview and installation of the 72 volt Falcon kit with a special guest. This is Marshall from Big Battery and today we have a customer that came in with a 72 volt cart. It's a Ford Think Neighbor and this is Dave Hardy and he's going to tell us about his uh, cart a little bit. Okay, uh, it's a neighborhood electric vehicle from Ford. I bought it brand new in 2002 and I used it as my daily commuter. I, would, uh, I lived in Studio City and I lived about six miles from work and I would uh, leave with it fully charged I would get to work. It was uh, pretty well drained. Um, I would charge up at work and I would drive back so I would cycle the battery twice a day and uh, the batteries that came with it were lead acid and they were very heavy and they also would only last me about one year and then I would have to replace them. Yeah, so when uh, Dave brought this vehicle in, it did not have batteries. So we're gonna put in two 72 volt Falcon kit in parallel. And uh, we're gonna see if we have a performance jump with the weight drop and the longevity and power that you have with lithium. We're gonna take it, we're gonna see what we can do. Okay? Excellent, very excited. Parts and components. Here's what's included in your 72 volt Falcon kit. Begin to remove the necessary items within your golf cart to make room for your two Falcons. Keep in mind that your configuration may look slightly different from ours. With your bus bar, you may drill into it if necessary. Place your bus bar in a safe and secure position where it is away from the elements and does not touch your batteries. Now screw in and properly fasten your bus bar with their appropriate tools. Next. We are going to connect the golf cart terminals to the bus bar. Make sure the positive terminal is connected to the positive side of the bus bar and vice versa. Remember to tighten all your connections. Now connect all three BB175 cables and then tighten all connections. Now connect the plastic covers back onto your bus bar to protect your terminals. Next, place your Falcons in the most secure position for your cart. They should be tight and secure, unable to move around. For this installation video, we did not need to use the brackets that came with our Falcon kit. If your installation requires brackets, please follow these next steps. Please connect the socket part of your bracket to your Falcon first. After, you will place your Falcons into your cart and use the appropriate tools and hardware to connect your Falcon to your cart. Now, before plugging in your BB175 cables, turn on both batteries. Now plug in both BB175 cables into your Falcons. Make sure they are plugged all the way in. Pro tip. Because these batteries are wired in parallel, if they are plugged in and one battery is off, both voltmeters will still read the voltage of the battery that is on. That's why it's important that we see that both buttons are in the on position. It is important that your bus bar does not touch the batteries and vice versa. Now with your remaining BB175 cable, plug it into your 72 volt charger, then plug in your 72 volt charger into any AC outlet. Your battery will then begin to charge. It is important that your Falcons are secure and not able to move in any direction. This can be achieved using metal brackets, straps, or even wood. For this installation, we use industrial styrofoam. And that's it. Enjoy your new Falcon kit. Let's see what Dave thinks. If you are using your onboard charger, you must verify the charging voltage is between 84 and 88 volts. If you have a programmable charger, also set the charging voltage within this range. Never charge your Falcon batteries above 88 volts to avoid damage. So I just got the batteries in, went for my first drive in 13 years, and this thing is quick. It feels so light and responsive, it's awesome. It's, I've got it up to 35 miles an hour. <laughs>